Hey, what is going on everybody? I'm your host Baby Spine and today I am coming at you to take a look at the Kiwi Elite Design Head Strap. Kiwi, huge shout out to Kiwi for sending me this over to take a look at and review here on the channel. Uh, we'll be doing an unboxing. We'll have a look at it, do a little installation and even show you a little bit of gameplay and how this thing holds up, talk about the pros and cons. And I just wanna say, um, I had already purchased one of these in the past. Here, it's actually currently on my, uh, this is my, my older one I got last year because, you know, I actually really liked the look of this and bought it back in the day because it's such a good, uh, such a good design that I just had to get it when it first came out. They've recently sent me this new one just to review here on the channel. So just a little disclaimer, you know, I'll make it short for you. Yes, this is a good head strap. It's actually better than the Oculus official one. So it's better in a lot of regards and we're gonna go over that, but let's go ahead and just get into here and show you the, uh, the actual, open this up. Uh, so as you can see, we have a, comes with a microfiber cloth. I love how uh, all these uh, people send you microfiber cloths that you can use. And uh, it's got some nice little silk packaging here. We'll go ahead and uh, Show you what's in the box. Comes with a little install guide book and nice silk packaging. We'll go ahead and pull it out. I'm actually glad now I basically have a new replacement unit if anything happens to my original one. I will tell you, I haven't had any issues with my original one. So this is basically just a review unit at this point. There's the padding, which I will say, you know, is a very nice thick padding. This is extremely comfortable very easy to wipe down padding just feels very high quality and let's take a look at the actual build strap itself as you can see it just basically will clip onto the side like that and then you have the adjustable knob in the back which you can use to tighten it up or loosen it, it has that nice clicking noise you can tell the gears are very nice here it's a really good head strap and uh so when you go to put it on you want to make sure that the leather part up here this is going to go on top of your head so just clip it into the back like this once the leather parts on top and you see those little grooves in the back it just clicks in like legos it's really not that hard yeah once you hear them click they're in place and just like that, the leather is now installed to the back part and now you just got to put it on the head strap. And this will give me a good opportunity to show you how to take it off as well using my older one. So, so we will take off the original one that I have here. And I'm going to tell you right now, pro tip, easy little tool to get uh, a lot of head straps on and off, especially this one, is a spoon. All right, as you can see, it's basically you can just take a spoon right here and put it in, wedge it in there and just pops right off. I use this to get off like every head strap, if I'm being honest, except ones that slide on. Just wedge it in and then apply a little pressure, it comes right off. I mean, naturally you could like pry your fingers in there, but it, it can hurt your fingers sometimes. Obviously just pull the interface off and then let this come down through the bottom little group here the head strap and then boom quest is in its base form we will now put on the new one for you to show you just how easy it goes on first thing you just want to clip them on the sides now these are really easy to put on you can just line them up and push in and they will just snap into place so we'll do that right now and we'll do the same thing on this one Oh yeah, you heard that one click in. Or oh, just kind of do this number, push on, make sure they're on, not coming off. And then from there, take your part. This is actually, we're gonna screw it a little bit. But we're gonna take this, put it through the uh, little top groove there. And your quest where you slide straps through. There, just feed it through the top and then it just Velcros onto the top. Just like that and there you go just like that it's on 
then of course you can put your interface back on after that. Another cool thing about this design is that it's very easy to just flip up on the back or on the front, however you want to do it, because these joints here allow it to easily uh, go up and down. So I'll show you how that really helps here. Alrighty, so let's put this bad boy on real quick and just show you how comfy it is. Oh, got the top, top part too tight. There you go. All right, so you just kind of put it on like that, screw it on, and it is just nice and snug and comfy. I really like it. And like I said, you can just flip up the top just like that to get right out of VR. You know, if you got to check your smartphone, your Fitbit, you know, your kids are screaming at you, whatever it is, you can just flip it right up here on your head. Super convenient. Or if you're wanting to, uh, get out of vr really fast you know oh somebody's knocking on your door it's the cops fbi open up just boom flip it right off just like that it just flips right off the back thanks to that uh, ergonomic design very easy to get on and off and uh, that's what i really like about it and you know it's a lot better in my opinion than the official oculus strap and they're priced around the same even though in the past the oculus elite strap was a lot more expensive it was like 70 bucks back when i first got one this one's priced at like 42 bucks right now on Amazon. By the way, there will be a link, affiliate links in the description to everything I'm gonna show you in this video. It'll take you right to the product and it'll help support the channel. Uh, so please uh, use them if you if this video is helping you out. Now, I just wanna say, um, this is much better than the official Elite Strap that doesn't have padding or anything. This is the official Elite Strap and I actually had to, uh, tape a pillowcase to it when I got it because I would get headaches because it has this hard plastic, this hard plastic material that just kind of like glues to your skull. And it was giving me headaches after, you know, so much use, I hated it. And I ended up taping a pillowcase to it. This thing is so old, I'm sorry. And then a lot of people also reported these breaking, so many report on Reddit, like you'd see these in YouTube videos all over the place of these side parts breaking. Thankfully, I stopped using it before that could happen to me. And then also they have like this, uh, this, this weird like cloth strap thing on the top that just absorbs sweat and gets really nasty. You're gonna have to wash it a lot. It's not nearly as nice as the Elite Strap leather, super thick padded leather that you can just wipe down when you get sweaty on the front back. And then you can also get a, a VR cover like the silicone one. I'll have, of course, links in the description or a leather one. You can get a leather VR cover like this one, which I actually really like this one. I just haven't used it much because I, I still need to order a glasses spacer for this so it fits better with my prescription lenses. But um, this is the ideal setup. All leather, it just matches. It feels great on the face, the head, the back of the head. Super comfy, super sleek, nice design. Easily, in my opinion, the this is the best uh, head strap for physical games in VR. You know, your Beat Sabers, your Thrill of the Fight, your your Fit XR, Supernatural, Blast On, any game that you're gonna be, you know, jumping around and getting all sweaty. Well, this is gonna give you the best, comfortable, secure fit, and it's the most lightweight one as well. And like I said, just sweet ergonomic design. Um, very easy to get in and out of VR, rest on your head. Now I will say there are just a few cons and really it doesn't detract from this. I mean, maybe it makes it a nine out of 10 instead of 10 out of 10, but you'll see most people talk about, oh, it's, it's front heavy, it's front heavy. And it's not really, this is not really a complaint that's specifically towards j this Kiwi Elite strap. M it's with most actual straps. If it's not a Halo strap, people will always say, oh, the Quest is front heavy, the Quest 2 or Quest 1, they're front heavy. And I actually have a fix for that general complaint here. And it's actually gonna lead us to another Kiwi product. So let's take a look at the Kiwi battery strap holder by Kiwi Design. I had bought this a while back when I wanted to have some extended sessions in VR and I first use it 
on my original Kiwi strap. It actually just clips right onto the bottom here. And what you do is you get yourself a 10,000 mAh battery. Again, affiliate links in the description down below. Use them to help support the channel. And I'll show you how to put these on real quick as well. And then you're looking at a good, you know, this this is gonna give you an extra six hours in V, or no, eight hours. These are 10,000 mAh is actually up to eight hours. Plus the Quest 2's internal battery is gonna be two hours roughly. So you're looking at around 10 hours in VR before you have to take your Quest 2 off, which probably if you've spent that long of time in VR, you're probably ready for a break. But hey, I mean, if you get a second 10,000 mAh battery, you could just hot swap it at eight hours and uh, boom, bam, surprise. You're still going, going hot. 16, 24 hours, just keep hot swapping as long as you want, you know? You wanna do a 24 hour video? Hey, that's on you. 24 hours in VR. So let's pan the camera back down one more time and I'll show you how to put this uh, battery strap on with the 10,000 mAh battery. Now this is easy enough to do. Mine's already like folded in the way that you're supposed to do it. So I'm gonna put it down like this. As you can see, sorry if my shadow is blocking some light. And this, like that. Take this part. Get it through this. Tighten it up as much as you can right in the middle and then uh, pull it on over the top to get it as tight as possible and it should look like this. See? And just to show you, this thing is in place. It's not going anywhere. I'm shaking it just by the thing here. I'm not even touching the battery and it is not coming off. So from there, you're gonna wanna put it right here on this spot. Set it in through the back. And you can either do it over the padding or under the padding. You can just peel the leather off and it will stick back on. Personally, I just do it over the leather because it doesn't really, I don't really feel it. And we'll just lift this up for you real quick. As you can see, just straps on just like that, but you'll just run it. Now the Kiwi uh, battery strap holder does come with a USB cable. I've had my own from the past. These little three, this little uh, like one foot or whatever it is, nylon cable just fits, it's like a perfect fit. But yeah, the, you, you won't have to worry about getting that because they, uh, they send you one and the little ties to tie it to the side. But this one I have just happens to almost be a perfect fit. As you can see, there's not much room. And that is now connected to the Quest. Hit the power button on the 10,000 mAh battery. And we're getting power to the Quest now. Now, another thing I want to say is that now fixes the front heaviness issue and the lack of battery issue. So now you're good to go for 10 hours in VR and it's no longer front heavy. It is perfectly balanced as all things should be and of course you know even though i don't have much slack with mine you might with the one they send you is going to be a little bit longer you can just use one of the little ties they send you with the battery strap holder or anything you could use a bread tie for all i care of course you just use the tie on the side like that it kind of holds the cable up out of the way and everything is good to go just like that you know, and you know, if you're not worried about crazy long play sessions in VR, or the front the front heaviness doesn't bother everybody um, with the Quest. You know, personally, I, I can play without the battery. Some people only like to play for an hour and a half and, or two hours until their Quest dies, and then they're fine with that and they log off. You know, usually a, a good enough amount of time to have fun or have a nice little fitness session or something. Um, and like I said, it's a very lightweight head strap, even with the battery on the back. It, the thing just still, still feels so much nicer now and uh, well balanced. So again, affiliate links in the description. Here we are on Amazon and you can see this is 12% off right now for $43.98, which is actually cheaper than the official elite strap which is 4827 and back when i bought this thing it was actually like 70 dollars so complete rip off the official strap has worse build quality you can't be flipped up or taken off very easily like the uh, kiwi one can 
uh, no padding. It's going to give you headaches if you have a sensitive head like me. So I don't recommend the official one. I definitely recommend the Kiwi one all day. And then of course here we have the um, Kiwi Design 3-in-1 battery strap for Oculus Meta Quest 2 Quest Vive Deluxe Audio Strap. This comes with the strap I showed you. Very easy, all the things you need to basically strap a 10,000 mAh battery or hell, they got 20,000 mAh, whatever, whatever floats your boat. I just know the 10,000 ones are cheap. I'll show you the one that I have here that I showed you guys that I just put on. And then of course here I have the a 10,000 mAh anchor portable uh, battery, which you can, you know, $21.99, you can strap this to the back of the head strap and uh, that'll basically fix your, it acts as a counterweight and as an external battery and you will be good to play Quest until you probably can't handle it anymore. Anyways, everybody, I hoped this video helped you. And if it did, can you please do me a huge favor and drop this video a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe, click the bell to stay notified, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is your host, Baby Spine, signing out. Peace.